Okay, let's get practicing the the answer and the two concepts underneath the answer. Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically and the end game opening. So searching for the position, hoping the opponent gives us the position. Not too sure. Is it going to go for it? The knight for the bishop for the rook? If not, I'm not too sure what the knight move was. And it potentially would be a waste of a move. So we can maybe try and take advantage of that lost tempo. Hmm, interesting. So we're looking to open up the king side area. Let's go here. So attacking and grabbing here, it's going to be on our knight, bring the knight up, attacking the pawn, our bishop is looking to take the knight off the board here if we get the chance to, but if they continue attacking us we'll be in defence mode. So maybe this pawn comes to defend this pawn, then we can take the knight off the board doesn't do any of that but is attacking what is he attacking queen's attacking the pawn let's grab here he does grab queen can come to the center here this is why he's brought the queen there the queen comes queen takes pawn takes bishop takes and we have the knight here so we could potentially get um, the rook off the board yes so i think we'll do that because we get a higher piece off the board at the end of all of that and he's not doing that so we'll grab here and we still get the higher piece off the board so that was a combination of smothering the king area but also looking to take off critical pieces off the board because we had sights off the pawn it's going for the bishop going for the attack on that side so we can move and it's a dark square bishop just move to the side if the bishop does take we take And we can take the critical piece off the board. Rook goes. We can take this pawn here with the bishop, opening up space around the king. It's attacking us. We're going to come and attack the knight now. He's not going to want to give up the knight. No. So, got to be careful now. He's looking at condensing our king area in. So let's attack the knight. Where are we sending the knight to? Back maybe attacking to put a 2 on 1. It's not going to come here and then push onto the knight again. Bishop's on the pawn, but the pawn is on the knight. Knight's got protection, so we can keep pushing this pawn. Got to be careful where the knight can go. Let's go here. His rook could come across, but the bishop can take. So this is just me reminding myself that if he does go there for a two on one, the bishop can take the rook. So we're trying to further advance the pawn up. He does have his own bishop as well, so if he plays them well together, he can block us off quite nicely but we don't want them to. So as you can see, we're condensing in the area a bit. So now probably looking to double up. If I go here, his knight attacks our rook. If we push the pawn, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes. So then I would be pieces up. A bit messy, but I would be pieces up. Pawn, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes. I take the rook, I've got a rook against the knight. Shall we go with that? Let's go with that. And it looks like the opponent may have left the game. Oh, yeah, they have left the game. Okay, that was a that was a good exercise, good practice uh, for the answer process. Just have a quick look at the analysis on there. Just bring up the bars and back to the beginning. Okay, so I'll keep the arrows on. These are the computer arrows showing the suggested moves. So we attack the pawn, develop the pieces. We wanted to control as much space as possible. Like I say, I didn't really know what this knight move was, so it was going to lose the tempo. So then we decided that we were going to focus our end game opening on the king side area, uh, so to open it up so that we could attempt to smuff, smuff, uh, smother the king yep so that's the initial thought process and then 
we have the opportunity of potentially going for a critical piece which is the rook so we took the knight off the board first and in this on this occasion the exchange of the queen would work out okay for us because we're opening up space around the king but at the same time if the queen had taken we were going to have access to the rook and we found out that after that it didn't make a difference anyway so we could go and capture the critical piece so we captured and then we captured and attacked and basically our position on the board was looking fairly fruitful and um, fitting the gauge bars agreeing with us on this side and just want to have a look see what fancy move this one suggesting bringing the rook attacking the pawn either way um, I just wanted to go through because normal human behavior I think would be probably taking there take there take there and then obviously that's the picture that I had in my head in fact I've got two rooks I thought I would have been a rook down <laughs> so the mindset of the answer having those two concepts in your head and being able to select them at the right moment at the right time is it going to be a simple direct move to remove a piece of the ball strategically or is it going to be a movement for the end game opening to complete the end game opening because at that stage when you're playing the answer you're not always going to if you go full on for an end game and you're just blasting in and you're going forward then you're going to miss valuable attacks that your opponent's going to put on you uh, so it's not about quick and dirty tactics it's about finding the right position and it gives you that option and that choice it's selecting the right weakness areas the critical weakness areas of the opponent to be able to then build your end game opening process so in my head it goes end game opening is the lead for all of your movement within the answer process and very close to that is the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically because if you can't smother the king you have to strategically remove pieces out of the way so that you can get towards the king and smother the king or as we say remove as many pieces off the board as possible so that the opponent resigns <laughs>